1.1D, whole numbers and decimals, adding decimals. When adding decimals, we must line up the decimal, which is essentially allowing us to line up the place values. This is the same process that we used when adding whole numbers. Only we also need to ensure that the decimals are lined up vertically. The way we decide where to put the decimal in the answer is that we bring it straight down. In example one, we have two numbers, 4.21 plus 8.962. To add these, we need to ensure that we line up the decimals. We start by writing the first number, 4.21. We then go to the second number. We see that there's a ones place and then the decimal. This means we can write the 8 directly below the 4, the 9 directly below the 2, the 6 directly below the 1, and then the 2 seems to be on its own. What we do in this case is to add a 0 as a placeholder. We now can add these two numbers together as we have lined up the decimal and all place values. Zero and two is two, one plus six is seven, nine plus two is 11, which means we carry a one. One plus four plus eight is 13. And then we bring the decimal straight down. This means we get the answer of 13.172. In example two, we have two decimal numbers once again. In this example, there's no number in the ones place, though we can still line up the places on top of one another. We start by writing 0.5 two, three. We then can line up the decimal places by putting 0 0.08. As in the last example, there seems to be an open spot. You place a zero in this opening as a placeholder. You can now add from right to left. Three plus zero is three. 2 plus 8 is 10, carrying the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then finally, we bring down the decimal point. It is customary to put a 0 in front of a decimal point so that the answer reads 0 0.603. In review, just as with whole numbers, decimals must have their place values aligned. Then the decimal will get brought straight down to the answer.